Hi, Kadena here from KadenaTate.com. Once upon a time, I was a real estate broker and not a very good one. I couldn't sell to save my life. So I called my cousin, Charmaine, who lives in Shreveport, Louisiana, and he was winning Car Salesman of the Month every single month. And I said, I need some help. And what do I do? Because I can't figure this out. And he said, oh, I'm just going to ask you some a few questions and we'll figure it out. I said, okay. He said, so let me give you a scenario. He said, a couple walks on the lot. They see a car that they love. He said, the pupils of their eyes dilate to the size of 50 cent pieces. They look at each other and they smile and they say, we want this car. And you say, okay, you go and run their credit. And they, according to the credit report, they do not have the credit to qualify to finance that car. They would need a 20% down payment. He said, what do you do? I said, I walk outside, I show them the credit report, I say to them, I'm sorry, you're not able to afford. He cut me off and said, what are you talking about? And I said, they can't afford it. He said, who in the hell do you think you are telling people what they can't afford? Wrong answer, give the people what they want. Go outside and say to that person, hey, I ran your credit, it says that based upon your credit score, we would require a 20% down payment. What would you like to do? And I said, I'm confused. They can't afford it. He said, no, ma'am. People who are highly motivated will go out and get a second or third job. They will pull money out of their 401k. They will pull money out of savings. They'll borrow money from family and friends. If they're highly motivated, they will do what needs to be done because people buy with emotion and then they justify with logic. And I thought, hmm, okay, so how does this apply if you're an author, coach, consultant, speaker, or trainer, or healer perhaps? Well, when people come to you and they say they can't afford your service, our responsibility is to listen very carefully and ask questions so that we can open the invitation to find out what is the why behind why they're telling you they can't afford it. If they're highly motivated, they will find a way to make the investment. If they're not motivated, they'll be like the people on the uh, at the car lot who will say, well, hey, what else can we, okay, what can we afford? Show me a pre-owned car or show me something less expensive. But at the end of the day, you let the customer be king or queen of his or her own life. You don't tell people what to do. Learn from me because I got to tell you, that changed my whole business. I immediately got better. It sounds easy. Give people what they want. It sounds easy. But in practice, it requires listening, empathy, and you have to be curious and ask lots of questions. I pray that these tips and tools have helped you. If you would like more information on how you can build a successful, sustainable, and scalable business, visit me at KadenaTate.com. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.